When the following redox equation is balanced, the smallest whole number coefficient, the coefficient for the, for the SNO3, will be what? So we're just going to actually have to balance this equation. We're going to do this with our um, technique of splitting it into the half reactions. So I will do the bismuth side first. All right, no charges. Um, so I need to balance out my oxygens first. So I'm going to add three waters to this side. And then that created six hydrogens here. But I only had three over here, so I need to add three H pluses here. And now I need to balance out my charge. I have only that as a positive, no charges over here. So I just need to add three electrons. So I have no charge on either side. All right, that's the half reaction for the bismuth. It is an oxidation. Sorry, it is a reduction. All right, our second one is the tin. There is a minus there, almost can't see that. There's a two minus on this one. All right, same type of idea. Our tins are fine. I have six oxygens on the product side, but only three on the reactants, so I need to add three waters. That gives us six plus those other three hydrogens, nine hydrogens. And on this side, where I have six, so I need to add three H pluses over here. All right, that got all of our charge all of our um, atoms fine our charges are we just have a negative charge on the reactant side on the product side I have those two minuses and these three positives so this is a positive one so I need to add two electrons all right we're going to combine these two equations in such a way to get rid of the electrons so I'm going to multiply each of these by three each of these by two so my balanced equation will have two bismuth and six H pluses along with three 10 OH threes and nine waters going to form two bismuths and six waters along with three and nine H pluses. Now we could combine things the six H pluses here are going to cancel out six of those. And uh, these six waters are going to cancel out six of these. And we could reduce it. And it also wants to turn this into basic solution, which is where we add OHs to counterbalance the Hs. But none of that will affect the coefficient in front of this, the 10 OH3, which is 3. 